Hello everybody and welcome again. It's Neil at ICANN Training, a property investor, coach and mentor. I just wanted to come on again today to give you a little bit of insights. I've been busy last week. I've been up north doing a mentorship with a lovely lady looking for some properties together and we just came across quite some interesting situations. So things that I would wanted to share with you and I'm sure she's very happy for me to share these with you as well. Things that we came across while we were up there. Now of course we were looking for properties. We were looking for a mix of things while we were there. We were looking for possible buy to lets, buy, hold and rent out and also some possible flips, uh, things that we could buy, do up and sell on. And we looked at a few properties there that all fitted both categories and both were potentially good little purchases. And what we're seeing in the market right now is a real, real seller's market. What do I mean by seller's market? I mean that people that are selling properties at the moment, right this moment in time, are able to get over and above asking price. I mean, they're talking ridiculously high amounts of money now for properties that probably aren't worth that kind of money. And I'm also hearing that people that are actually getting offers accepted on these kind of things are struggling to get a mortgage for the full value. What do I mean by that? So let's say one of the examples are we saw a property that was on the market for £65,000 and in the end it sold for £95,000. That's £30,000 above asking price. And that property still needed work, it still needed doing up, it still needed um, making better, improving. And it was never going to be worth £95,000 in the current condition. So when the person went to get a mortgage for that property, the mortgage company sent the surveyor around. The surveyor has a look and says, actually, this property is only worth about 65, 70 maximum. So when the mortgage company look at that, they say, well, we can only give you lending based on that price. Therefore, we can only lend you, if it's a buy to let, for example, 75% on the price that it's been quoted on the survey, which is possibly £70,000. Now, if they've got the offer accepted at £95,000, then they are gonna to have to find that difference. So where they were banking on it being a valuation of maybe 70, 75, there's a big difference there, 20,000, 30,000 difference that they're gonna to have to find if they still want to buy that property and it's worth going. Why are people doing this? Why is this happening out there? Well, right now we've got the stamp duty holiday still going on and it's still continuing on. And what we're seeing is a massive fuel of the market of first time buyers. Stamp duty holiday and now as of uh, this month, well, last week, I think, there was 95% mortgages available to first time buyers or people buying their own home, not even just first time buyers. So if you were buying a home to live in for yourself, as a lot of people are out there that are looking on the market at the moment, then you could purchase this property with a 95% mortgage, which means you'd only have to find 5% of the value for a deposit. Now that's all well and good, and they're out there and they're doing that, and they're also avoiding having to pay any stamp duty on properties up to a certain price, but they're still paying over the odds. And even so, a 95% mortgage would give them 5% of the valuation price. They'd still have to find the difference. So we're seeing a lot of this happening at the moment. Maybe they're getting support from the bank of mum and dad, where mum and dad are giving them some money, gifting them some money to help them with the purchase. That might be helping. However, we might see that when they come to the point where they've got to get the mortgage, they can't actually afford these properties. And we may well see these properties come back on the market very soon at a, at a, a reasonable price. It's happening, that's what's happening out there. So again, I'm hearing people tell me, in these circumstances, how are we gonna find deals? Well, you can still find deals and you can still get the property and you can still make property work for you and get them below the asking price if you follow the simple steps that we teach at ICANN and you follow the, the formulas, follow the rules. You can still do this, it's still possible. And it's even more important now to do it in a controlled, structured manner. We do not want to get you guys and see you guys getting into trouble where you've gone and paid over the asking price and in a few years time, or maybe this year, who knows, when the next leveling or crash, whatever you want to call it, comes into the marketplace for property, that you're going to be in, in a difficult situation. So just bear with it, keep going, you can get there, you can do this, get someone on board with you, come and join us at ICANN, come and 
book your, your coaching with us for six months or a year and we will help you get you there and we will get you to whatever your why is. Is it because you need to become financially independent? Is it because you need to make sure you've got a bit of security? Should we have another kind of virus outbreak and you can't work or you're losing money for some reason or another? Whatever your challenge is, whatever's stopping you move forward, just take action, get on and do it. And remember why you're doing these things. It's important to you for whatever your reasons are. Hopefully that's been helpful this, this morning. Hopefully that's been good for you. And just remember, crack on. I'm sure you're all having a great time over the bank holiday weekend as well. And just go and go and do it. Just keep going, persistence and get going. You can do this. It's Neil Stewart from ICANN Training. Take care.